Lord, you reveal to redeem devil of cancer. Go in Jesus' name. Come out in the name of Jesus. An unwavering testament to faith, commitment, and a deep belief in the power of kingdom covenant. He said, Jesus is not here, but his name will do what he will have done. Now get up. He said, get up and the man got up. When the man got up, Jesus did the thing. You get up now if you believe it. Today, we explore the life and journey of the true covenant practitioner. Remember his covenant forever, the promise he ordained for a thousand generations. I am David Ibiomi. I want to say to you that Jesus loves you. Born on October 21st, 1962, in Borni, Nigeria, David Ibiomi, with an uncommon destiny, began his life's journey lined with God's grace and direction. And in early 90s, he had a life-altering encounter with God, one which will affect millions of destinies of generations and generations to come. Nobody led me to Pentecostal Church to give my life. I went with my legs. Nobody preached to me to be born again. I took my legs and went in to give my life. I was moving like this on the road, not knowing where next to go to. And a voice came, I will use you. That was where I heard God clearly, I will use you. Well, Pastor David, we are so delighted that you are here, sir. Tell us about your ministry. We started in 1997, April 13, precisely, with 20-something persons and began to grow in a property close to where we are, in GRA, in the same city of Port Harcourt. And then we moved to where we are now, which is plus 17 of that same city. And we began to grow from one level to another. We run five services on Sundays, packed with people, and God has been so good to us. On April 13, 1997, David Ibiumi started full-time ministry, founding Salvation Ministries with the mandate to establish the Kingdom of God here on earth. Wherever is sitting on your destiny, on your blessing, on your promotion, I command them to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Over the years, the ministry has grown by leaps and bounds reaching millions of people of different races, tribes, and tongues across the world. Close your eyes and put your right hand on your chest. And pray this prayer loud and clear all over the world. And say, Lord Jesus. Through the ministry, souls have been saved, lives transformed, the sick healed, and the oppressed delivered. For five years now, I lost my two teeth. Two in the front. Yes. Two was not there. Two was not there. And he grew up with a shout, a shout. As he turns 61, his legacy as a covenant practitioner continues to inspire countless of individuals to live their lives in alignment with God's promises. One day, a boy came to me and was weeping. I said, What is it? He said, Sir, without you, I wouldn't have been a graduate. It is you that made me where I am. I said, God made you. He just used me as a privilege. I said, you to not be a blessing to other people. I've shown you the way you to be. David Ibiumi takes great pleasure in helping the less privileged through David Ibiumi Foundation, DIF, which contributes immensely to the society through welfare programs and schemes such as scholarship, welfare packages, free medical outreaches, gifts to orphanages, and the physically challenged, amongst others. My name is uh, Gibson Nigerbara. This is the greatest impact in my life so far. I've never seen. I feel so great. I feel so great. Very happy. I, I appreciate Foundation so far what they have done for me in my life. And I appreciate Papa, the man of God, who have given this card. My name is Malaki Uba on Friday. I'm from Akwaibo State, a senior in local government. I was working in a club somewhere in GRA as a cleaner in a nightclub. They asked me for church the next day, and I told him that 
I was working in a club that I couldn't make it. He said working that he would take care of me, he would take care of me. So the next day I resigned from the work. I went for the church. After the church, he now sponsored me for industrial cleaning where I went for training. And after the training, he now opened shop for me. He now paid for everything, put the thing that inside the shop. Papa now imparted everything inside the shop. So Papa has really imparted so much in my life because where I was before and where I am now, it's not the same. And I want to say a very big thank you for Papa for everything that he has done for my life. In the end, now my father, now my pastor, Papa said, from today, go up. No more suffer for me till my time is over. I say, collect me, he take me. And he can't change my life, change my life up everywhere. So now, I their life. The day when he said, see me, when I go give him seed, he says, yeah, mama, he's depressed, so. And I saw the letters every day. Every day, the first mama passed my age. Because my age now, uh, uh, the, the son, they make me 85. Papa make me, my, make me now. I first pass my age. So I thank and well, well. When it is traveling, you see, a lot of the people wear skills. Also, what you want to take, 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 what you want to take. I believe to touch many lines, that touch my lines, so I believe to touch many others. And for the friend who might be, what you want to take. My name is Kenny Esther Mbagi. I'm a beneficiary of Papa's Environment Girl, 2023 slash 2024 batch. And although I'm grateful, but indeed, Papa has tried to run because there was no stress at all going through it. And here we are, we've gotten our papers and it's successful. So I want to say thanks to Papa. My name is Joseph Lucas I'm a beneficiary of a Papa's 324 jam, free jam element. The process has been nice and really good. Cool. I just want to say thank you, Papa. David Ibume's passion for soul winning ignited even during his earlier years as a brother when he successfully won 56 abiding souls to God's kingdom. Today, as a pastor, he continues to actively engage in soul winning. Each week, he leads a dedicated team in reaching out to suburban and other urban areas. David Ibume's unwavering obedience to the guidance of the Holy Spirit has resulted in a sustained global influence, birthing remarkable outcomes. This is evident in the commencement of the Port Harcourt Miracle Crusade, which grew to Night of Glory and became Five Nights of Glory, which then further metamorphosed into the Glory Reign. The introduction of the Days of Encounter, which became the monthly week of spiritual empowerment program, the establishment of the Transformation Center at Hokma International Academy. There's something I do in Okma that has never been done anywhere in the world. I call it Transformation Center. It was Holy Ghost that gave me the idea. Normally when children misbehave in schools, they suspend them through. And I moved away, I said, Spirit of God, give me an answer that the world does not have. And he said, no child changes without transformation. He said, now set a place where you will give them the word. They will go to school, but they will not mix with other people. For 21 days, we give you the word. We give you the word. We give you tips. We give you exercises. No flogging, no punishment. But your mind, we just renew it with the word. Get to a point, all the bad habits, heal habits, you don't drop them. And everyone we took there, all changed. No school on earth does it. The notable formation of thousands of home cells worldwide and the introduction of church in the home to ensure uninterrupted worship services. The initiation of the online morning devotion. Birthing countless mind-blowing testimonies from across the globe. All reflect the impact of David Ibume's responsive obedience. An educational crusader, he established the world-class primary and secondary school, Hokma International Academy, and the tuition-free school, Home of Success Academy. He has also contributed immensely to other institutions, such as building his alma mater, 
the Banham Memorial School. Building a state-of-the-art hostel for Ignatius Ajiro University. All these and more are testaments to his love and commitment to the advancement of quality education. As a prolific writer, David Ibiomi has authored well over a hundred books, most of which has been translated in several languages and has imparted millions of souls across the world. He is a firm believer in the faithfulness and dependability of God. His confidence rooted in God's word concerning any situation. Tell yourself whatever the Bible says will happen. Not what, not what a man of God says, what the Bible, the Bible is superior to a man of God's word. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Had he said, and shall he not do it? Or had he spoken, and shall he not make it good? And now, with the standing ovation and heart of gratitude to God, shall we celebrate a covenant practitioner, our father and prophet, God's servant, David Ibiomir.